what's good y'all so i'm about to break down the sample right now let's get straight into it here's the first midi it is from contact from the dulcetone 1900 bank and yeah here's what it sounds like yeah so that's a pattern let me break it down real quick i start off with the chords down here so basically it's a one two five but the bottom note is pitched up it's a f sharp minor to a c sharp minor but the root note is up here instead of down here so i pitched up a whole octave after i had this i sliced it as you can see here and here and here and here so i don't know exactly how i made this part on top but i can give you some like tips so basically this right here as you can see these three notes is the f sharp minor chords if i pitch them down it's the same as here same thing here as you can see this is not the same thing as this because it's a new chord here so if i pitch them down it's the same notes again but it's the g c sharp and then the e down there and then we got some half steps on top and just you know just some random notes that sounded good but yeah that's the breakdown for the midi after that i went to a chorus juno 6 this one right here and then i went with a delay tape delay slightly bumping preset and then i went with an eq and finally i went with a soothe and i took out some frequencies you know cleaned up the sound a little bit so after that i exported to a audio clip and i went into edison and i changed the sample rate to 4000 and then it sounded like this right here And then I just duplicated it for two sections right here. So for the first section, we got a halftime that is bypassed. So it's not doing anything to the sample. And for the second part, we still get the halftime. And I made these weird automations to it. And the knob that is automated is the mix knob, I think. Yeah. So basically what I did, this is the original. This is the same, but I pitched up a whole octave. So when the halftime is on at 100%, it kind of sounds the same. So sounds pretty much the same it has the same pitch but then when this goes up the halftime goes down which makes it like sound super bright because this one is pitched up a octave i hope that makes sense so yeah uh, here's what it sounds like i'm gonna show you inside of the actual plugin as well Yeah, you know, some cool variation. If you have a hard time coming up with counter melodies, you can flip it like this. Anyways, for the next part, next thing I added was this little perk or this little accent. Very minimalistic sound, but it does a lot to the sample. And after that, I went to this VST right here. I went to the Mellotron and I went with this preset. It is by the 44th floor. It's a guitar, but it doesn't really sound like a guitar, but it's fire. And I made this pattern with it. So actually in these spaces right here, this space right here, and in this space is when the accent is hitting, so if I play them both together. Yeah, it just fits. And yeah, I routed it to the same mixer chain as the first, uh, like the chord progression, so it has the same effects as the chords. And after that, I went and got this perk loop. After that, and finally, I added a bass line from uh, also say quizzy and yeah just follow the root notes so that's pretty much it for the video hope you enjoyed it if you did leave a like comment and subscribe and i'm gonna catch you on the next video